Hi everyone! Thank you very much for tuning in today. Thank you to the team at Fashion Tech Week New York for giving me the opportunity to speak today. My name is Juliet Zeger. I am a tailor, a clothing engineer and a recent graduate of the course Design for Change at the University of Edinburgh. The fact that I am a tailor might give away the nature of my agenda today and potentially even a certain bias. I want to talk to you about sewing technology as a social technology and its place in the age of digital transformation. Author Yuval Noel Harari said that emergencies tend to fast forward historical processes. In the past six months, we have seen a boost of digitalization in fashion technology, plus a push for collective consciousness for sustainability. And I think that is exciting because it entirely shakes up the industry and the public debate and it makes it realistic rather than idealistic to question how we want to do business, how we want to consume and in short what kind of world we would like to live in. Something else we have seen in the past six months is the fragility of the fashion supply chains. This fragility reveals a systemic issue of the fashion industry we have created and that is the ignorance towards garment workers. Factories that have been already working under extreme pressure lost their orders, and people who were working under precarious conditions already lost their livelihoods. There is an imbalance of power dynamics in the fashion industry, and we have seen that some stakeholders hold no leverage whatsoever to defend their position. So following Harari's premise, I think we should not miss the opportunity to change what has been wrong for so long. Now is the time to install an ethical debate into the quest for innovation. As digitalization and sustainability increasingly claim their place in fashion, it is now the time to examine which kind of technology we want for which kind of society and to actively design around this. To set the scene, I would like to present a couple of facts and figures to you. One third of jobs worldwide are somehow linked to the textile sector. 30 million people work directly in garment manufacturing. Two thirds of total employment of the clothing industry is allocated to the sewing phase. And what I personally find a very significant example is that 90% of clothing consumed in Germany is imported from developing countries. Also, depending on which country you look at, 60 to 90% of garment workers are women. The fashion industry forms an example par excellence for an entangled and complex system with many different stakeholders, processes, locations, dependencies and conflicting interests. And all of this we see across social, environmental, technical and economic spheres. The industry faces undisputable issues of uh, waste creation, environmentally harmful practices and exploitative labour conditions. But then at the same time, the industry is an economic driver, an accelerator. Um, it often forms a stepping stone industry for developing countries. And also, not the least, fashion is of course a source for the pleasures of consumerism and for individual and cultural expression. When I set out to conduct the research for my master's thesis, I wanted to understand which effect the digital transformation has on sewing technology that involves mainly manual manufacturing. And in the context of social issues, I was interested to understand, is this impact of digital transformation desirable or not? I had come across a range of emerging and already established digital solutions in the product development stage, for example, looking at design and prototyping, in data processing and supply chain communication, for example, virtual fit sessions between designers and suppliers, then, of course, digital solutions in marketing, looking, for example, at virtual runways. But in manufacturing execution, I saw a gap. The primary objectives for the introduction of digitalization into sewing technology are increasing the productivity and procuring the uniformity and quality of the result. And all of this is basically reducing the potential for human error. To do this, technologies of automation are applied. However, several characteristics of garment manufacturing make full automation quite difficult. 
Firstly, the floppy material of fabric requires vision and touch to be handled. So to manipulate fabric, you need to anticipate how it will drape, how it will behave. Secondly, fashion products are ever-changing in silhouette, in finishing, in materials, and this requires being able to adapt very flexibly and ad hoc to these changes. And thirdly, the margins in fashion are often calculated quite tightly, and this poses a risk to technological upgrades. The automation technology that is already well established in sewing tech is fairly small scale, like for example automated thread cutting or automated back tacking. There are automated machines for small tasks like the buttonhole machine, and in large scale production you'll find engineered working stations like the pocket setting automation where successive sewing tasks are combined. Then there's knitting technology, which might be the closest there is at the moment to full automated garment manufacturing. However, of course, we know that knitwear has fundamentally different properties in style and function than woven garments. And in all of the above, you actually still need humans as a fundamental component of the operation. There are emerging technologies for full automation that may be applied in large scale in the future, and some of which might be represented across this event. The company software automation, for example, applies vacuum gripping in combination with robots, so-called sobots, that are attached to cameras. And the Adidas Speed Factory, for example, uses robotic sewing, this, however, for sneakers and not for clothing production. In total, full automation in garment manufacturing is still in a phase of experimentation. And beyond the question of feasibility and cost effectiveness, what does it actually mean to be able to produce one t-shirt per 22 seconds? Basically, though the textile industry was the first to become mechanized, it will be among the last to be fully digitally automated. The outcome of my research surprised me, as it seems so counter the narrative of digital saviorism. But basically, today and for the foreseeable future, every garment is and will involve sewing by human hands. And I think that is a key point we should all be aware of as we create fashion's future. Especially consumers who are lay people to the industry are often unaware of this fact. The human touch of sewing is basically invisible in a dispersed clothing supply chain where anonymous consumption is the norm. I wanted to experiment with ways of visualizing the human labor that goes into the making of more or less every piece of clothing around us. For this, I covered my hands in black paint while sewing white garments in order to literally imprint the human touch. Sewing technology draws on the complex capacities of the human brain and foremost, the uniquely human dexterity. The whole process uses the human ability to handle floppy materials and manipulate them into different shapes, as well as the skill to immediately adapt the pressure and position of hands to a variety of surfaces, also reacting immediately to the way they form during the stitch formation. Be it at home, on a domestic sewing machine, in a community workshop, in education, or within the industry, it is humans operating the machines, moving the fabric, sewing the garments. In this, they fulfill basic needs, they build relationships with each other and they potentially empower themselves through creation. Sewing technology is a social technology. The core question in designing a better future fashion industry is not, as I had originally thought, one of techno-optimism versus techno-pessimism. It is a question of social activity versus social passivity. It is necessary to actively change the status of the garment workers. True transformation can only come through collective action. And this collective includes the garment workers, be it in Izmir, in Dakar, or in New York City. The fashion industry has the power to change and influence millions of lives, but it needs to act towards this social sustainability. We need to use the positive potential of sewing technology as a social technology. We need to support fair working conditions, support workers' unions, take responsibility for the framework we create. We need to build it into our business models to question what impact our work has on humanity. I would like to invite you all to send me any thoughts or comments you might have on the topic and also any critical questions you might have for me specifically. 
and I think it will be great to start a conversation on this. So with that I say thank you very much for your attention.